Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today we're gonna do our second Gulp video. And what we're gonna do in this is we're gonna show you how to add a plugin into Gulp so that you can do more advanced things than just outputting a hello world tag like we did in the last video. So keep watching. What we're gonna do is grab the Gulp Uglify node package and we're going to add it to our task so that we can minify JavaScript files on command. So keep watching, we're gonna get started right now. So to get started, we're gonna to want to find the Gulp plugin that we want to use. And you'll notice that at gulpjs.com slash plugins, you can see that it says there's 605 Gulp plugins that already exist. So there is a ton of people writing a ton of extremely useful plugins for Gulp. So we could go ahead and search. However, I already know which exact uh, plugin I want to use. It's the gulp-uglify. So this is on npmjs.org uh, and it's gulp-uglify. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to minify Basically, it's going to take away all of the space in your code. So it effectively becomes unreadable, but it cuts down on file size, so therefore it's super useful. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is install this Gulp Uglify package locally to our project. We don't have to install it globally or anything, just to our project itself. And in fact, there's a better way to do this, which we'll go over in a future video by creating a package file where you, do, you describe all of the packages you want to use and then in one command install them. However, since we're just going to get going, let's just go ahead and install this at the root level of our project using npm install, then hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev space gulp hyphen uglify. And this command is listed on the npm page. And for me, I have to run sudo in this directory, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, we now have Gulp Uglify installed. You can verify that by checking out your Node Modules folder. Now, inside of our Node Modules folder, instead of just having Gulp, we also have Gulp Uglify. So, what's next? Well, all we have to do is require this other uh, Gulp plugin, just like we required Gulp in the first place and then we can use its functionality so let's check it out uh, you can declare your variables however you like in JavaScript I'm going to do it like this where we have a comma and just one var statement and we can say uglify and uglify is going to equal require and then inside of our require statement is going to be the name of the the node package so it's gulp hyphen uglify Great, so we now are requiring Gulp Uglify and we're using it as Uglify. So how do we how do we do this? Well, before we just had a hello world, so let's actually get rid of that. Uh, we don't need that any longer. What we wanna do is we want to run a command on a source file. So there's a method of gulp. So it's gulp.src. And this allows us to run a command on a particular directory. So by specifying a directory inside of quotes, we can say it's going to be our JS directory. And inside of our JS folder, we're going to use the asterisk, which is a wildcard, which means any file. Now to make sure we're not just using any file, we're gonna use any file dot JS. So any JavaScript file inside of this JS folder is going to be used. Now next we need to use dot pipe and pipe is going to allow us to run a command on this file essentially. And inside of here we want to run our uglify function so we can just type uglify, let me spell it correctly, uglify and then parentheses and all this is going to do is it's going to uglify the code right? Uh, so if we were to run this right now, it wouldn't actually ever give us anything. It, it, would act, it would minify the code, but then simply give us nothing. So now what we need to do is dot pipe another function, and this is going to be the gulp destination function. So we can say gulp dot dest, and then we want to pass it in the destination. Now, because I don't have anywhere I necessarily want to put this right now, we can just make a new directory and call it min.js for this example. 
And typically the way that you're gonna see these files laid out is to have each one of these pipe statements on its own line. So if we do something like that, it's now looking a bit more organized and you can see exactly the steps that we're going through. So we're going to load the files, we're going to uglify them, and then we're going to save them into min.js. Okay, since this is our default task still, all we have to do is write the command gulp. So let's come back to our command line and type gulp once more. Okay, as you can see, it started default and it finished default. Last time it took a very small fraction of a second. You can see this time it took 5.31 milliseconds. So you can tell it has done something more than just output text. So let's come to Sublime Text and you'll see that we now have a min.js folder and inside of here is every single JS file that was inside of the min.js folder. We have this main and plugins. Main.js typically looks like this before we minified it. Now you can see afterwards, double clicking on uh, main.js, here we have everything in one line. Oh, cool, you have now just written your first build script, it built your JS by minifying it, and this is really just the start of all of the great things you can do with Gulp. So in the next video, we're gonna get going with some more complex things to make this JS uh, task even more robust and more interesting. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up at Hit us up at Twitter, Facebook, or pretty much anywhere. We love to hear from you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.